Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing several potential problems that we may experience when GTA 5 is released on next generation consoles. So with GTA 5 being released on the Xbox One and the PS4 on November 18th, there are rumours circulating the Grand Theft Auto community suggesting that we could face some serious issues with GTA 5. One of these issues may in fact be something that many of you have already experienced and remember well. Now you may recall that when the online feature was launched last year on GTA 5, for the first two or three days, it was nearly impossible to connect to the online servers. This was mainly caused by the huge number of people all trying to connect to online at any given time, and the GTA 5 servers simply couldn't handle the quantities being experienced. This problem was solved fairly quickly, and fortunately, we haven't experienced anything quite like it since. However, there are debates suggesting that the re-release of GTA 5 on next generation consoles could face similar issues. Now, I personally think Rockstar will have already taken this incident into consideration and have compensated for it, but many argue that the servers are insufficient. Now, with GTA 5 still being a very popular game on current generation consoles, its relaunch on next gen could see even higher player figures. The next gen version of GTA 5 has certainly had some huge upgrades in the graphics and in-game features. This will definitely encourage and influence a larger number of existing and new players to purchase GTA 5. So with potentially more people playing GTA 5 on next generation consoles, the question is whether the online servers will be able to handle the initial amount. Now my overall opinion on this issue is that it's irrelevant, it would be foolish of Rockstar to have not considered this issue already, which is why I'm sure they will already have it covered, but even so the issue is there and it could potentially cause problems. Something else which you will also need to take into consideration is the sheer file size of the game itself. The initial file size of GTA 5 on the Xbox 360 and the PS3 was approximately 16GB, whereas rumours suggest that on the next generation consoles we could be seeing up to 50GB. So that is a huge step up in file sizes, all the way from 16GB up to 50GB. That is a 34GB file size difference. And that is just the initial release, excluding any further downloadable content yet to be added to the game in the future. Moving on to another issue that I feel needs addressing are the removal of mods from the PC edition of GTA 5. So if you haven't heard about this already, there are basically rumours going around the community suggesting that Rockstar is working with a company known as DeNovo to introduce a DMR system on the PC edition of GTA 5. This DMR system forces users to connect to online to play the game. This could have a number of knock-on effects, one of these being the inability to use mods. Now when I refer to mods, I'm referring to creative mods, not mods that exploit the game such as infinite money, god mode and invisibility. I'm sure you're all aware that the previous versions of GTA are well known for the mods which have been created within them, such as maps, player skins and game modes. The removal of the ability to create or use mods on GTA 5 PC sounds hugely disappointing personally, but on the other hand, it does present a number of positive bonuses. A DMR system would prevent users from being able to pirate the game, essentially meaning people wouldn't be able to obtain the game and play it for free. And what you also have to remember is that there would always be people that use mods in a negative way which ruins the game for others. But even so, the concept of not being able to use mods on GTA 5 is disappointing and could potentially affect sales massively. Now with all of that being said, I want you guys to tell me what you think, so make sure you leave a comment on this video giving me your opinion. I would also appreciate it greatly if you guys could just take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button on this video, it will help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. And of course I would highly recommend that you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.